So we just talked about offset, and this just kind of illustrates what I just said. If you're using an irregular shape, offset is going to be the space around the outside continuously in an even amount around all sides of your shape. And so my mountain example, or my chart example, it's irregular, it kind of looks like triangles, and if you look around the outside, you kind of have a buffer that's equal distance, let's call it a quarter inch, or I guess it's not a quarter inch, it's .1875 inches on all sides. Um, if you were to use um, a rectangle or something that is has four sides and they have 90 degree angles, then you'll have the option to have bigger or smaller areas on the right, left, top, and bottom of your shape. Um, sometimes when you're using text wrapping, you run into the problem that you need the text to wrap around some things, but not all things. And so if you have an example, like on the screen here, where I want to put a quote in front of uh, the, the graph or the example that I'm going to use um, in InDesign is I have a picture and then I want to put a little caption under it. You can basically say that this object, this specific object that I have selected right now, it is so important that it should not ha have any effect by other objects text wrapping that it can ignore it. And you can do that by selecting the object, going to the object menu, choosing text frame options, and then choosing to ignore text wrapping. And so if you start to move a text box near something and the text starts to disappear in a weird way, it probably means that there's text wrapping on that object and you can select the object that you want to keep the text for and you can basically say just ignore all text wrapping. And so if we jump back, if I was working on the square again, maybe it's a picture, so I'm going to go to the object menu and content and make it a graphic frame just so I get an X across it because it represents a picture. And I want to put a description at the bottom. And so over here on the side, I'm going to type up my little description. Diagram 7.6, comma, okay. a beautiful fall day. Maybe it's a picture book and it's describing the picture. And I'll make the text smaller because that's usually what you do when you have a diagram. Maybe I'll center the text. And I want to stick it right here underneath the picture. But watch what happens. Let's make it bold. And let's make it red so you can actually see it. Okay. Actually, let's do this. So I made the text lighter, so hopefully we can see this when I zoom in. And so I have text wrapping on this shape here that says that if any text comes inside this offset area, it should be pushed away and wrapped around the shape. And so if I grab a diagram, 7.6, a beautiful fall day, and I go to drag it and move it, I'm going to nudge it with my arrow keys. At a certain point, it's going to start, see how it's moving my text out of the way? it's moving it out of the way of the text wrapping. And so no matter what I do, if I try to put the text underneath and center it, it's never gonna go there because it's being pushed away. And the reason I can see it right now is because the text wrapping, it only goes down to here. You can see that it stops as soon as the text wrapping appears. If I was to move this down, it would keep pushing the, the text down because it's pushing text away from it. And so in this case, you may want to select the frame of the text that's important. You don't want to lose that text. And choose Object Text Frame Options. Inside the Object Text Frame Options uh, dialog box, I'll select Ignore Text Wrap and select OK. And so now, when I go to nudge my text up under the diagram, I can put it wherever I want uh, because it's not being affected by text wrapping. And so after I put my description in, I might realize that I have too much text wrapping. So you can always select your shape, go back to the text wrap panel, and you can lower that until you get what you need for your project. Maybe we'll go like this. There we go. That looks better.